What's up, guys? Captain Dale Ash at Jupiter Snooker here. We're out here product testing a new Azuri plug, okay? I don't know if you can see this plug hanging out of this giant fish's mouth. That is the new 3D inshore pencil popper, and this 40-something inch fish just obliterated it. We're out here fishing. Things are starting to line up pretty well. We're, we're seeing some good movement. We're getting into some fish up here. I feel like something's gonna happen, so stay tuned. going on guys captain dale ash of jupiter snooker out here we are out here testing out the new 3d inshore pencil popper from missouri okay this is a five inch bait they have a larger one and this is the inshore pencil popper you can see the shape and i've had a lot of time here throwing it we caught some fish on it it performs great what i like the most about this is it walks so easily so anybody could walk this. As you guys know, and well, maybe you don't, but you know, walking baits can be a little bit difficult to walk, depending on their shape and depending on other things. This one is so easy to walk by its design that I would give this to a beginner and they'd be able to walk it. My nine-year-old daughter could walk this thing, okay? All you have to do is be able to reel and twitch and you can make this thing walk. That's one of the best things about it. Also has all the things you like from Missouri, right? So we got top-notch components, we got nice big trebles, we got awesome finishes that are very durable and the same durable you know, body that you're used to that's not gonna break on you. leader on this new lure and we're just hoping that it's not going to wear through because I didn't see any lure coming out of its mouth which means the whole thing is inside of its mouth and 30 pound leader is rubbing against it.
not a bad one. It's just like 42 on the brand new Uzuri. Sick. Look at that plug. You have to be kidding me. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Woo. Get this thing out of here. One hook in her. Right there, guys. 3D inshore pencil popper. I'd say it works. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. What is happening? Golly. What a beast. Let's get her back in the water. Let's see what she is officially. Put her like this on big tape. She is zeroed right there. She's touching 42. 42! Let's look. So we've, we've had her here, guys. Giant fish, big female. These are the ones that you want to treat really well boat side, right? We've had her in the water uh, probably 10 minutes total on the boga, okay? I threw a fish tag in her. We got some footage of that. And now we're getting ready to let her go. 42 inches on the tape. Just a beautiful fish. Probably 25, 27 pounds would be my guess. So we didn't weigh it but awesome fish and we'll let her go here in a little bit. So guys, I was mentioning before how easy this bait is to walk. Some baits from different companies some can be harder than others, okay? And it's not a, you know, walking a bait and using a walking bait is not a beginner's technique. It usually takes some, you know, you have to learn how to do it. This bait, I swear, it almost walks itself. All I'm doing is twitching and reeling and this thing is walking perfectly back and forth, back and forth. And that's just based on the design. If you have that cup lip and you have that nice tail weight, that thing's gonna walk easily. So this bait is set up perfectly for that. So we're just getting done today. Uh, my first full day throwing the new user. And uh, I gotta say, I'm impressed. Uh, we had a phenomenal day. We probably put four or five fish in the boat, it was all snook, and they were lighting this thing up. This is a smaller size for me than I'm used to throwing. You guys and gals that follow me on Instagram, you know I throw that bronze hydro pencil. It's a five inch bait, one ounce. And I was skeptical because the hydro pencil is, you know, dear to my heart. Um, but I think where this is gonna fit is, it's gonna be kind of be a one-two punch with the Hydro Pencil. I might throw this at uh, quiet, more quiet conditions, a smoother top, you know, no breeze, things like that. Um, they were lighting it up all morning. The 3D Inshore Pencil Popper. This is a great addition to the already very successful 3D Inshore series. It's 135 millimeters, that's five and a quarter inches, perfect size for striped bass, big snook, big redfish. What I really like about this pencil popper is you have a lot of pencil poppers that sit very vertical in the water and are meant to slap head up. Those are, you know, your surf style pencil popper. That's not what this bait is. This is an inshore pencil popper that you would throw more in a back bay, an open water situation, throw around structure, around docks, mangroves, seawalls because it has a real flat bottom, sits very horizontal in the water, and has an incredible walking action. Full 180 degree side to side walking action on this bait. It's got a great one knot cadence rattle in the back, and also a small BB just to give it a little bit extra sound. So two sound chambers, one with a large single knot, one with two small BBs. It's a great combination of a high pitched and deep thud noise. And the key with this bait, with that being in the tail and that fatter tail, flies straight through the air, even into a headwind. One ounce, great casting bait, great terminal tackle, 3X hooks. But this action, real easy. You can fish it a lot of different ways. You can speed it up and get the quick, hard side to side. And that mouth with a little extra cup spits water side to side. You know, the three inshore top knock pencil in the five inch, very similar bait, but there's some key differences. The top knock pencil is more of a subtle bait. Okay, it doesn't have that spit to it. 
The inshore pencil popper has that little extra spit, that same side to side action, but that spit can bring fish up from 30, 40 feet down if you're a striped bass guy, or it can bring fish in from a long distance. Fish will see this bait from a long ways, run in and eat it. Another key factor with this bait is internal painted finishes. So this is, you know, we've got our internal 3D finishes, but this bait also has paint. This is our bunker pattern, our peanut bunker pattern. All the paint is on the inside. So if you're up north and you go out striped bass fishing, you catch a bunch of stripe, stripers and you catch a bunch of bluefish in the same thing, you're not gonna chip or wear off any of the paint. If you're down here, you can catch jack, big jack curvals along the beach on it all day long. Take out the same bait tomorrow and fish it again because you've got the same finish. You're not gonna chip or wear anything off. Extremely durable and all for under $12. Check them out. The next great bait from Yozuri in the 3D Inshore series, the 3D Inshore Pencil Popper.